Merhaba, benim adım JJ Muryasi ve kanalıma hoş geldiniz. Geçen sene bir proje için İngilizce içerikleri üretiyordum. Ama o proje durdu. Proje durduğu için o içerikler bu kanalıma koymaya karar verdim. O içeriklerden bir tanesi bu video. O yüzden altyazı açmanızı tavsiye ediyorum ve keyifle izleyeceğinizi umut ediyorum. Yorumlarda görüşmek üzere. I do understand the security concerns in an airport, but I still hate the process. My name is Joel. I come from Kenya, but I live in Istanbul, Turkey. When we say Kenya, the first thing that comes to many people's minds is runners, long distance runners. I wanted to do an experiment and see how much I can run. So I went out and trained for a month in preparation for the Istanbul Marathon but I was not intending to run the whole 42 kilometers. Every year there is a marathon that is organized in Istanbul that crosses from Asia to Europe. It's a wonderful event and I wanted to use that as something to test my Kenyan running skill. And during my preparation, I wanted to test many things and one of them was to run at the fastest marathon pace by Eliud Kipchoge. As a Kenyan, can I do it? And how much of practice will it take? for me to be able to run a very long distance. So I tried. I need to put something into perspective. Usain Bolt is the fastest man in the world. He runs 100 meters in 9.58 seconds. Eliud Kipchoge, on the other hand, runs 100 meters in 17.2 seconds. But he does that for two hours non-stop crazy right now get that into your mind put that into perspective first and mind you i had been practicing for the whole month to try and do this pace for as long as i can it's 6 a.m in the morning you okay there yeah <laughs> Yeah, Hakan is ready. <laughs> Let's go do this thing, man. İkinci kez karşılaşıyorum böyle. Başlarım, başlarım hep dağınık ama olsun bir şey olmaz. Biz çalışanız. Emekçiyiz, emekçi. Sayı kaç? 10 tane olduğuna inanmıyorum ama 5-6 tane var. Görüşürüz. Çanta markada. In the whole of Istanbul, there's probably 10 taxi female drivers. In the past two weeks, I've met two. <laughs> I am very, very excited. I will be running at Kipchoge space for as long as I can. I know it's pretty difficult. Uh, I'm estimating 15 minutes max, probably 10. So we'll try to push it as much as I can. Istanbul, the city of cats. Yeah. How are you? Fine. Yeah. Pass by a place to get something to eat. I'm not particularly hungry and I don't want to eat much. What did you say, brother? What do you So, we're in a car, we're driving to a spot where there'll be very little traffic and I will be able to do the run. Yes! Ah, I'm excited! I don't know if you can see it in my face, but I am. We're going to have the car follow me while I ride on the side and try to get as much shots as we can. I had my friend drive at 20 kilometers per hour and I was trying to keep up. That, that's the whole idea. And also I had my other friend have a camera on a gimbal as you saw that was going to get the shots of me running. Which was also important for me to later on come and check uh, my posture because posture is really important uh, in running. The way you carry your arms, 
the way you uh, raise your knees as you run forward and how back your foot goes or how high your foot goes uh, when it goes back and that kind of stuff. So uh, this was uh, hitting two birds with one stone. This is it. Maddie, you can go. Three, two, one, go. Begins. Right here, I'm trying to shout and make sure that we're going at 20 kilometers per hour. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through what's going on here. I'm comparing my posture with Elif Kipchoge's posture and we're not very far off, which is what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, although my hands move much lower, they go below my waist. His arms never go below his waist. So there's no um, wastage of energy as, as he's running. The second thing I notice is I lean forward a bit, just like him. Uh, by leaning forward, the gravity uh, helps you to accelerate forward. The other thing is my knees. My knees don't go as high as his knees. They should go higher. That uh, will, will allow you to take much bigger steps. And the other thing is how high my leg goes up when it goes backwards, which is also low. That's not good. It should go much higher. So in other words, I have a little more work to do with my posture. But my shoulder movement seems okay. My head is placed okay, and the lean forward is also good. This basically goes on like this until I'm done. But still, this is pretty cool to watch. With the, yeah, let's park the car. Wait. It's so hard. I tried, but uh, as my friend explained, I couldn't keep up with 21 kilometers per hour. Uh, I was falling behind all the time. For someone who has been training for, for a month, I think, I, I thought I could be able to run for at least 10 minutes. He does that for 60 times two. It's almost impossible. Those. Elin Kipchoge and his friends are superhumans. I... To Elin Kipchoge, much respect, man. I couldn't do 10 minutes. Uh, I'm back in the car. We're going back home. It's been quite an experience. So, I don't know if you noticed, but we have close-ups and we have a drone. After I ran, I ran again twice. One to get close-ups and one to get a drone shot. But then, while we were doing that, this happened. Uh, at, at 
Wow! Aia cabilă rănit pe gheosterim Ce o cuzel? Iuri e bine I just met, uh, while I was doing my run oh my, While I was doing my run Sureul a racnecat dar și a pe osunus Bir bucuc saat Bir bucuc saat Bir bucuc saat yuruyorum Her Wow Her gün yuruyorum ne Yani hasta olduğum zaman buya olmadığım zaman Yani yürümüyorum Çok iyi Ama her gün yürüyorum Çok iyi Spor ayakkabınız da var Evet Oğullarım çok iyi Sağlığınıza bakıyorsunuz Tabi oğlum da bakar Fazla koşturmayın She requested me not to show anybody this footage That very sweet lady Is 69 years old She's been running Every morning For one and a half hours For the past 20 years Wow, and what else can I say? So, being Kenyan is not enough. I guess that is obvious. There have been so many explanations given as to why Kenyans are able to run very long distances at a very fast pace. But I think there's one thing that people forget, the culture. Any kid born in that region has their surrounding filled with the best of the best in the whole world. Needless to say, they will be very much inspired to be like the ones who came before them. I guess if that old lady was born in that region in Kenya, she would have probably been a world champion. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can like, subscribe. Until the next video, see ya. Peace. We couldn't get all the angles because I couldn't run for as long as I wanted. So now, just to fill up and fake the shots, we're getting extra angles. Mehdi, let's do this. Eh? Tam, sur. Let's go. This is more than 20. <laughs> <coughs>